So, if I want to describe the motion of an object, first I want to know where it is. Its position is very important. So, in the object move agudhanna, it is x axis la move agla, y axis la move agla, or z axis ni move agla aliya. So, first if I want to describe the motion of an object, I want to know where it is. I want to find out its position. So, in the position of the energy karthika, now we are having all these coordinates, x, y and z coordinates. Thamil na coordinates are kurugal abdiin sulo. In the x kurugal, it is one direction, one axis la kula, the object move agla aliya. The object may move in the x axis alone, or it may move in x and y axis, or it may move in z axis. So, this coordinates plays a very important role to describe the position of an object when it is in motion. Yedu kaag ipti yu x, y, z a yudu kuro, or object today position inge rukku, adu describe pannu nun na, I want to know where it is. And the where it is inge kandu pidikku nun lai inge rukku and the object inge, adu kandu ipti pidu chitu nambe enna pannu nun, x axis, y axis, z axis. Ipi in the room li ye, in the floor la move pannu nun, ipi na apti nadakku nun na, I am just moving in only one coordinate. So, I can say my motion is one dimensional motion. One day, one day, one day, I am moving in one day. If you move in one day, one day, one day, one day, one day, one day. If you run the running race, you run the floor, you run the floor, you run the floor, you run the ground. So, you can go to one dimension. If you have any examples, if you have any motion, you can say motion in one dimensional. X-axis, this is the ground. If you have any athletic water, you can go to one day. One day, one day, one day, one day, one day. So, if an object moves in only one dimension, that type of motion is called motion in one dimension. If an ant moves, or a lizard moves, how do you move? If you have a room, you have coordinates. If you have a room, that is x-axis. If you have a wall, that is y-axis. If you have a space, that is z-axis. If you have a ant moves, it may move on your floor. If you have a x-axis, it may move on your floor. அதையம் மாதி இந்த வால் செவிரு மேலியும் அப்படியும் போகும்லியா so it may also move in this coordinate also so when an ant moves or when a lizard moves it may move in any one of these coordinates it may move in this x-axis or it may move in this y-axis now i can describe the position of this lizard or the ant in any of these two coordinates since it is having motion in these two coordinates so i can say this is a very good example for motion in two dimensions ipo unnor example edukrom indha pattam solranga kite theriyuma pattam indha pattam edumbodhu andha kaathaadu eppadi move aagum paathirukkeya illa oru parava parakkudhu bird flying when a bird flies how it moves it may move either in this axis or it may move in this axis x y vandircha eppadi straight ah horizontal ah move aagum parava eppadiyum parakkum y axis layum parakkum space la eppadiyum parakkala illaya so now this bird it can move in all these three coordinates now i can say the motion of the bird is having three dimensional motion in the three dimensions ni adu move pandradala this is a very good example for motion in three dimension so motion in one dimension na ore ore coordinate la move aachna that type of motion we call it as a motion in one dimension if an object moves any of the two coordinates rendu coordinate li move pannichna then i can say the object is having two dimensional motion if an object moves in all the three coordinates then i can say the object is having three dimensional motion